everyone welcome back to another stacking the shelves with me Jackie um, I'm gonna show you what I got last week from the razor bill event that I went to on Thursday I got into a little bit of car trouble so I wasn't able to post last week so I'm gonna show you what I got this week last week um, I also got three ebooks which I can't really show you so I'll just say the title and link them below. Um, also, I want to congratulate Michelle from Just a Little Loss uh, on her engagement this last Monday. That's great. So congratulations. And Giselle from Book Nerds um, on her two interviews she got as well. So congratulations, ladies. Good week with you guys. Um, I'm sorry that the lighting is really bad right now. I have no idea what else I can do. Like, both lights are on, but... Hopefully you can still see the covers and stuff. So um, from the Razor Bill, Razor Bill event, we had uh, Adrian Kress, the author of Friday Society, and Morgan Rhodes, the author of the Fallen Kingdoms series um, there, and they were signing books, so I got both of those signed. Um, here's a finished copy of the Friday Society. Uh, I don't have one, so this is my first finished copy. It's really nice, though, inside. Like, I will show you. Uh, the inside of it is all designed, really pretty, and she signed it as well, so there it is there. Very nice, and I really like the design for the cover as well. It's one of my favorite ones. And then, Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, who's another finished copy. Also one of my favorite uh, covers from the Breathless Read series. It's really nice. And then there is the signature drew a little crown. I didn't even notice that. That's cute. So yeah, those are the two um, finished copies I got. Um, all the rest are going to be ARCs. Um, they had a table of advanced reader copies there, so we got to choose some, and um, I got, also because I work for Penguin, I got a whole bunch of other books, so let me show you those. I got The Silent Wife by A.S.A. Harrison. It's more of an adult read. It's about um, a husband and a wife that are going through um, some tough times. Uh, her husband is a committed cheater, and she's kind of in denial about it. So it is going to be one of those books that kind of hits home, but it's kind of like a mysterious thriller as well, it seems. So we'll see what that one brings. And I also got A Taste of Heaven by Meg Tilly. It's about two girls, um, one who just moved to town um, named Alyssa and the other one is uh, Madison and they bond over chocolate chip cookies but Alyssa is keeping a secret of some sort so Madison wants to find out. So it should be cute. I really really like the cover of this one. It makes me want chocolate chip cookies basically. So yeah. I also got on recommendation from Rachel, uh, Penguin Canada's um, um, uh, media person. Uh, the Jan Halsey Riding Camp for Girls by Anton Disclafany. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, she says this book is amazing. She recommends it, so if you can pick up a copy, do so. Um, it's set in 1930 amidst the Great Depression, so history buff like myself, I really like those types of books. I also got Gail Foreman's Just One Day, which I've never read anything by Gail Foreman, so I'm kind of super excited to read it. Um, everyone's been loving it so far, so we'll see what it is. Um, I got the second book uh, by Maureen Johnson, uh, The Madness Under uh, Underneath Shades of London. So this is the second one to uh, the Name of the Star series, which I haven't read either, so I'll have to get the first one. I also got Tarnish by Catherine Longshore, um, the second in the um, Guilt series. She came out with Guilt last year. Um, this one follows Anne Boleyn, um, and I love the cover. Just love it. That is probably the Tudor Court is my favorite historical period, so this is going to be awesome for me. Um, Sarah Dessen's The Moon and More, also a really light and summery cover. I really like this one. Um, I also got Silo by J, uh, DJ McHale. Um, it says Paradise or Prison, the game has begun. Sounds interesting. And lastly, I got Invisibility by Andrea Kramer and David Le uh, Levithan. 
author of Every Day, and Andrea Kramer, author of the Nightshade series, which everyone has been dying to get their hands on, and I honestly don't know what it's about. I apologize for everyone who wants a copy of this, but I'm really excited to dive into this. I love Andrea Kramer, and I've never read anything by David uh, Levithan, but I'm sure I'll love it. Um, and I also got on my Kobo. What did I get? I got Dare You To by um, T Katie McGarry, the same author as Pushing the Limits, which I absolutely loved, so I'm really, really excited for Dare You To. Um, I also got Every Never After by Leslie Livingston, the second book in Once Every Never, I think that's what it's called, um, which also has a, like, a really rich historical background, so I'm really excited for it. And finally, I got an advanced reader's copy of Fifth Wave by um, Rick Yancey, I think his name is. I know his last name is Yancey, but it doesn't say here. Yeah, Rick Yancey, which is going to be a huge hit with Penguin this year. And it comes out in May, I believe, and it's a post-apocalyptic, dystopian... I think aliens, I'm not entirely sure, um, but it's supposed to be amazing, like everyone is just ranting about it, so definitely check that out um, if you can. My Waiting on Wednesday post this week is also starring it, so definitely check it out, it's supposed to be amazing. And that is all I have to show you. Um, I went through that really, really quickly, but yeah, it was a lot of books and it was a um, like great event. I got to meet so many people that I have been talking to over Twitter and Facebook and finally can put a face to a Twitter handle. It was really really fun. Um, and yeah, so that's all I got this week in books. Um, next week I will be showing you what I plan to do for the month of February, which is going to be a romance month. So I'm really excited because I don't get to read romance a lot. So I bought a whole bunch of um, romance novels, adult and young adult. So stay tuned for that. Have a great week, guys, and I'll see you next Saturday.